Hey guys, Josh here, Tuk Tuk AU. Today I'm just going to do a quick review on the program called VMware Fusion 3. Um, this is a store-bought copy. It had a sticker on the front. Uh, I couldn't get that off, so I just left it there. Um, as you open it, you have what the pretty much basically can do. Um, on the sides, just VMware Fusion top as well. On the back, we have a little bit, a little more information about it. Um, on the uh, on the side, it shows you a couple of a uh, couple of um, optimized for and now supporting and all that. Other side is system requirements. So I'm just gonna get straight into this uh, video, and I'll show you a bit about it. So once you open it up, you go to the virtual machine library. I have Linux Mint installed. Um, it says Ubuntu here. But I'm not sure why it says that. Um, but I'm the only reason it says that is because Mint is not one of the Linux uh, versions here. So all you do is just click on that and type in Mint. It will change here. So I'll start up um, Linux. As you see, I've suspended it, so it's just like putting it to sleep pretty much. It doesn't take very long to Dude. Um, resume. So this is real time, by the way. Um, so yeah, you can also put little uh, Apple Card programs up in the menu bar. I uh, currently don't have any programs on the Mint side, but on the Boot Camp on my uh, Windows one, um, all my programs are here, as you can see. So say I wanted to play Grand Theft Auto 4, it's right there, which is great. Now I'm in Mint, so I can put it on full screen, and full screen is pretty good. It's uh, it, it looks great, really. It just functions like a normal computer. You got uh, pretty much working here, so and you got a little toolbar up here. Just close it, suspend that. Suspending is really quick, as you can see, real time. So that's now suspended. I'll log into my bootcamp partition, which as you can see here is Windows 7. So I have installed this and it now is able to run as a virtual machine on my computer on VMware Fusion. So it's just going to start up here. And as you can see on the virtual machine library, there's a live view as well. And as you can see, it runs quite smooth. The only downside is that sometimes it's not the fastest way of using Windows on the computer. So I only do this maybe to do a couple of screen captures. It's not fast enough. Um, but I also have to put a bit more RAM towards my VMware program. Um, so the um, so Windows 7 can use a bit more RAM from my Mac. As you can see, scrolling in it, working perfectly. You can go to YouTube. Using the Apple, using my computer keyboard. Oops, <laughs> that was a fail. Fail there. That's epic fail. But okay. Um. So yeah. See, YouTube slowed a lot. I can just close it. Which I can just minimize it. And it'll just minimize, just like a Mac application. And come back up. And there it is. So that's Unity. Now, just to change back, just click on View and uh, put single window for now. But yeah, that's pretty much um, that's pretty much the Windows and uh, Linux side of the MWF Fusion. So um, just do a quick little video on settings. I'll show a couple of settings you can do. And as you can see down here, you can. Use the Bluetooth adapter, IR adapter, USBs, iSight, everything in the in, in the Windows or Linux virtual machine. So just close that down, open the virtual machine library, and click on settings. Go for a couple of settings here. So you can choose the processors. I put one processor one processor on that. I might put it up to 
the maximum amount of memory, 3684. And show all, so that's changed. 3D enable, which is pretty cool for 3D graphics, and uh, everything else I'm going to leave the same. So that's some of the settings. So yeah, that's pretty much VMware Fusion. A great program, definitely recommended to any Mac user. It doesn't cost that much. I think it's about $110 Australian, but it's definitely worth it. As you can see, you can do all these little cool things here, and it's great. So yeah, thanks.